YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here back in Total War Arena. Again, starting out, thanks to Total War Arena and Wargaming for working with me on these videos. I love working with them because this game's been great. If you want to download it, I got a link in the description. Go check it out. Click the link. Use the bonus code PLAYTWA. Get yourself 500 gold a week of premium for free. Some people have been saying the code's not working. I'm asking them about it. I'll let you know if I get an answer. And anyway, try it. If it doesn't work, it's a free game anyway. You don't lose anything. <laughs> Let's jump in. YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here coming to you from the Tudoberg Forest with level 4 Hannibal. And um, I've had a lot of you saying that the gold units would be OP, so I bought some and uh, stuck them on here. Why? Well, I can afford to, and let's see whether or not they are OP. And um, this should be a fun match for y'all, too. Uh, my last video was a whole bunch of screw-ups, right? Because I had some people say, Air, you don't always just need to show your wins, but I, I swear every time I show my losses, the video gets more dislikes and no one watches it. People like watching wins. <laughs> I don't mind showing losses, but people like watching wins. So that's, for those of you who are always asking me for losses, if I do that all the time, no one watches my channel. I'll do it every now and then, okay? And in any case, this is a good one because it demonstrates a lot of teamwork. And then we're also going to see whether or not these hoplites I bought for gold do any good. We put it together a huge push on the right flank, uh, myself and a few other teammates. The enemy pushed heavy up the center, and then we kind of fell back in the center, luring them forward where they're going to get shot by archers. And we also have artillery, so this works out very nicely for us. On the right-hand side, I'm kind of leading the uh, charge here. Got my Greek hoplites moving forward. These guys are really a very defensive unit. They're not going to be great on offense, and they're a little slow, like all spearmen are. I did unlock the uh, Tier 4 swords, and we'll play a game with them here in a minute. Um, I find that Carthaginian swords are just horrible. Um, like, just bad. <laughs> They're not as good as the Roman swords, so you lose to those. They can't beat hoplites straight on. And then a lot of the uh, barbarian swords have better abilities and win that fight, so it's just kind of like, eh. Carthaginian hoplites and hoplite units are very good, and I like them. Um, I like them better than most hoplites, but their um, their swords are pretty, pretty trash. So this one spearman came out trying to get to our archers, and we won't let him. So I turned one of my hoplites around. We're going to catch him. And I'm going to kind of pull open the mini-map for some of you who want to see that, what's going on. Um, but in the overall, you know, we're fighting this flank. There's not much fighting on our right. And then back here in the center, uh, my teammates are doing a great job of just kind of tearing down these guys who are pushing center and trying to be very aggressive. Over here, I want to call out the archer player, Mr. Wonder here. Uh, he is going to have a fantastic game. And then uh, Twisp here with his cavalry. Um, just constantly harassing the infantry. I'm not going to get many points in this game because I am purposefully protecting Mr. Wonder. I just have hoplites. They're not made to do a bunch of killing, so I'm going to sacrifice my ability to get points. And if Mr. Wonder is kept safe, as is our cavalry, um, we're going to win over here because we have a ranged advantage over all the enemies nearby us. And this guy really wants to get to those archers, and I am really not going to let him. He acted like he was going to charge me, so I went into Phalanx, but then I have to wait a few seconds before I can leave Phalanx and chase him. So he's going to try and get to the archers again. This cavalry and myself are going to stop him, so he's he's not going to really get anything of use done here. He's just going to get pinned up, singled out. Now he's singled out, and I saw the opportunity. I'm going to pull these units in behind him. And then a nice cavalry rear charge here from the Theban cavalry. And that's one spear unit singled out and destroyed. Um, Balorm or Balmora here is running into a bunch of enemies up here, which is really interesting. I, I would have kind of expected them to push him down through this choke point, but they didn't. Hoplites are a lot better in a choke point than swords are, generally speaking. Not always, but sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead, once we destroy these spearmen back here, I'm going to move towards the choke point. And what I want to do is I want to move out here and cut off the enemy's base from these guys. Have the swordsmen come forward, and then I kind of keep the cavalry and other units from getting to the archers. And because of that, it'll put us in a position where we can gain an advantage over all these enemy troops who are down here thinking they're rather safe. These guys are down here demonstrating the Testudo here. It's Hestati. And the Testudo does give them a lot of protection against everything but javelins. You can see here they've got some... Um, Archaic hoplites and 
militaries running around down here. So the cavalry is going to bust through and try and take out these swordsmen. And here comes my spearmen. So I'm going to send one of them to take up a defensive position and block anything coming from down that hill. You can see now that Mr. Wonder, who's done a great job of sticking with his teammates here, he's been very good about not shooting friendly fire and, and really harassing the enemies and creating the type of engagements we want. So Balmora here is a little bit overmatched in the current fight. He's going to need some help. So I send my hoplites in and I tell them to retreat and then I'll phalanx. But I know that's a tricky business because my phalanx causes friendly fire. But I'm getting positioned and I tell them, all right, hey, retreat. I'm going to phalanx. I waited for him to get through my front lines for the most part. And then I pop into a phalanx. Right there, I accidentally did kill a ton of his own units. So I was just a little bit early. But otherwise, it worked good. These guys charged forward and took a bunch of damage. So see, I can hold this. And then our cavalry has the hills secure. So no one can get over to Mr. Wonder. And Mr. Wonder just continues to lay down a beating all over our enemies. So again, this is good team play in the sense that I'm getting no points. But I'm just making sure that I stick to my teammates here and we're each using our strength. You know, the swordsmen are using their speed and aggression where necessary. And then um, the archers are being protected by the swords and the spears. I saw these cavalry back here too and there's extra swordsmen also. So here in a moment I'm going to go ahead and move one hoplite back because I know they're going to need some extra protection. Our cavalry player just rolls forward here and starts doing frontal charges so he's getting, he's getting pretty antsy. Some enemy cavalry gets behind us here, and I see it. I'm not going to let Mr. Wonder get wrecked by cavalry. Because he is causing a ton of damage to our enemies. And with him here, they're in trouble because they don't have any ranged units to counter. So basically, if we keep the archers alive, there's nothing they can do to us effectively. Now these swordsmen want to uh, run away from the uh, Roman swordsmen here. And they've got to contend with cavalry and archers firing at their back. And again, here in the front... Um, <laughs> I say here in the front, I accidentally turned this hoplite unit the wrong way and didn't notice it. And I was like, oh, this guy's charging me, what a dummy. Yeah, except I was turned the wrong way. I didn't quite get into a phalanx here, I guess, in time, or else it would have reflected that charge. Phalanxes reflect the charge back on the enemy, it's pretty great. We got another teammate here, um, Sakako. So, he's going to be here. These hoplites, I eventually turn around because I screwed that up. But these Romans are not going to be coming through that hoplite phalanx anytime soon. Archer safe. And some of our teammates are starting to put together a push towards the enemy base over here. There's still quite a few enemies protecting it. But again, here the enemy gets singled out. So a nice rear charge here. I did have to, uh, to turn off phalanx. Well, I don't think I turned it off in time. Yeah, I didn't turn off phalanx in time. So that would have been better had I done that. And then here I'm going to go ahead and help outflank these uh, Hestati who got themselves into a bad fight, surrounded by barbarian swords and my hoplites. Not a good place to be in life. So here comes the flank attack. Mr. Wonder is safe at this point to go ahead and move forward. There's no, no more enemy cavalry in the vicinity. And then I'm going to bring this spear unit down. So, so far, what do you all think? Are my gold units completely OP? Have they cut down 100,000 enemy soldiers? No. <laughs> so why do you pay for a gold unit, Air? Well, I'll show you at the end of the battle. Um, there is a reason to pay for them, but it's not so that you can pay to win all the combat. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. So I keep telling you all the game from what I've seen so far. If there's something in tier 10, I don't know because I'm not there yet, but I'm telling you all that the game is not pay to win. Let's see here. Yeah, so we're pushing in on the enemy base. I'm trying to bring my hoplites up and around, and I end up deciding to bring at least one of them down through here, because uh, the enemies are pretty much done for. There's a few swordsmen back here, but this is going to be a solid victory for us at this point. So again, really good teamwork um, by Mr. Wonder and Balmora running the swordsmen. And then uh, Twisp here with the cavalry. So we had we had the combination of units. We had cav, we had spears, we had swords, we had archers. It's a great combination. And we worked together on that one flank. Every player doing the part that he should. So in, in my case, it's hold enemies and prevent them from making a quick rush. In the case of the cavalry, it's harass enemy flanks and archers. 
And then in the case of the Swordsman, it's attack, do the damage, use your light Pila, that kind of stuff. So you'll see here that uh, the player um, on our team here, uh, Mofchi or whatever, he did really good with some Barbarian Spears apparently. Uh, but if you check out the score on that one afterwards, I'll try and pull it up. Um, uh, Mr. Wonder had a really solid score. Where was he at? Uh, is he on here? Yeah, Mr. Wonder. So, ah, it doesn't show his stats, but anyway, he was like second place in terms of score. He got a ton of damage because we protected his Ionian archers the entire time. So that's pretty much the, the takeaway from that is you got to help out your teammates. Uh, now, okay, I mentioned a minute ago, why would you want gold units? Well, this is why. So, as we've explained before, so for those of you who think the gold units are pay to win, they're not pay to win. They're pay to get you XP faster, okay? So if you buy a premium unit, it's usually a good unit. It's not going to be much different than the other units of the same tier. Um, it's going to be balanced into that tier. But they help you get 50% more free XP, and then 50% more unit XP, 50% more silver. Okay, well what does that mean? So free XP you can use to either upgrade your commander, um, or you can use it to upgrade units. Unit XP is used to upgrade units. You can also use gold to convert unit XP into free XP. Okay? You'll get it. Silver is what you use to purchase units to put into your army and to get consumables. However, up to this point, I have had no need for extra silver. I, in fact, you can see I have a giant stockpile of silver because silver comes way too easy uh, in the game. Like, you'll, you should never really be running out of silver. Well, Arrow, don't they have premium consumables that just destroy the enemy like in World of Tanks? Uh, if they do, then I don't know where they're at, and I'd like to know where they're at. Um, the consumables you can either get with gold or silver. I have no idea why you would pay gold to get consumables. That's absolutely absurd. Um, but yeah, I mean, the consumables, there's nothing here that's, that's OP. It's the same ones that go on the regular units. So again, I mean, I, yeah, I'm working with Total War Arena to make these videos, but... They're not telling me what to say, and I'm, I'm telling you all, there is no pay to win that I've seen. If you've seen pay to win another tier, let me know. But when you get extra XP, well, Air, isn't that pay to win? No, it just means you level up to the next tier. When you level up to the next tier, they're going to match you against people in a higher tier, which means your units don't have an advantage because they're all in the same tier. Does it make sense? It doesn't really work the way that some of you all are thinking. And again, I'm not usually a fan of these kind of... MOBA type games or whatever so I wouldn't be here defending it unless there was a reason to defend it and there is because it's not the way it works anyway let's play a battle live um, let me show you the tech tree here I showed you one with the spears and we'll play one with the swords though I can't say I'm excited about it because these swordsmen are really bad um, but I, I bought the Greek hoplite so that I could level up faster get these punic mercenaries uh, and then we may I may even buy the Gallic cavalry for you so you all can see that and I'm gonna use them to level up faster um, because we're going to need to get to the African elephant. So I'll use these guys to gain XP, convert it over, and level up the mercenary so we can get to the African elephants. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I was using the hoplites because they level up faster, but I'm going to show you all the uh, regular unit. So let's go back to squad. But like I said, I'm not, not, not impressed with the um, Libyan recruits. They are a pretty awful sword unit, and Hannibal doesn't really have abilities that really help sword units so yeah it's just not a good match in general I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, Anath Blessing um, gonna need it so see he's consumable 715 silver I mean that's not gonna hurt you every battle to do that you have plenty now in terms of abilities we got this formed combat when you put them into this, it cuts down their movement seed, uh, speed, but it creates a shield bash up front, um, and then they move to the back. It gives you charge deflection and extra melee defense, which can be handy. This other one is a shield screen. You can't move when you use it, but it gives you extra charge deflection and missile block chance. So if you know you're going to get charged from the front, it can be used in that regard. So let's go ahead and play a battle. <laughs> I'm going to have to be extremely careful about how I engage because I've even had melee cavalry of course it was it was one tier higher like tier 5 melee cavalry surround me with these swords and just kill me uh, the Libyan recruits are are pretty bad 
They don't have Pila. <laughs> they don't have an infantry charge ability. They don't have a shield bash. Like, they're just not very good. And like I said, I'm, I want to say that the Ad Portus ability that Hannibal gets at tier 5 also doesn't help him. So, I, I mean, should Carthage have just as good of swords as Rome? I don't think so. I just think it would be more interesting. Like, the Roman ones have Testudo, they have the, the Pila, um, and they're, they're good in melee. So they kind of have an identity. I'm not really sure what the identity of these units is. If someone knows, please tell me, because I don't know everything about this game. I really don't. Um, so if someone knows, I'd love to know. But to me, I just haven't found a purpose for him yet. So we'll see how it goes. Sometimes it takes a second to find a match to you. Usually within a minute and a half, I've got a match. All right, we've got Hadrian's Wall. I haven't gotten to play this map yet, so I'm pretty excited. Let's see what it looks like. This looks like we got the wall on the center, the bases on each side. So this is going to be a major choke point action right there. Yeah, this map looks like it's all about choke points. Interesting. Gives you a lot of cover from artillery. So yeah, a lot of choke point combat here. So phalanxes and spears could be pretty good, but they're gonna need missile units to support them. We got some Falx units here, and there's a lot of tier five units in this battle, and I've got these crappy tier four swords. <laughs> you have to be very careful. Yeah, we're gonna have to be very careful. What is this type of unit there? Is that a slinger? I think that's a slinger, maybe. Mixed in there. It's my buddy, Air. I could protect you, but my Libyans suck. <laughs> tis true, tis true. Um, let's just go over here. <laughs> that guy warrior saying hi to YouTube. <laughs> Take the enemy base or kill them all. I really, 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 really don't want to have to engage. We got these Falx units. They're probably really good on the charge. We've got a few archers here, so let's move up to the side of the wall where we can't be seen by artillery or hit by artillery, and get ready to try an ambush. Uh, let's go, guys. Come on, warrior. You said hi to YouTube. Looks like our Falx is going to move up. The th yeah, we're not in a good position because we have no... We have no real protection here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will die to this all day long. These Prinkipate. Where's some... That's... Whoa, African elephants. I haven't gotten to play against any elephants yet. I've heard, though, that the nerf was pretty hard on them. I'm gonna let those archers do some damage and I'll swing in from the flanks as needed. I wanna see these elephants. Okay, yeah, so the elephants can sometimes catch up. They get slowed down when they get shot by missile units, but it looks like the missile units can stay at the same pace as them, at least for now. Again, we just wanna be patient with our engagements. Tough location because of the trees. Oh, that's bad. There's two Falxmen on the enemy Falxmen here, but the elephants are catching the archers, so this is really bad for us. If the elephants kill all of our archers, there will be nothing to stop them. I wish these Falxmen would just attack these Falxmen. Okay, let's see whether we need to push forward. I mean, I could try and fix some of these Prinkipes, but we would have to have some rear charge action in order to be effective. Let's just discourage the Prinkipes from the engagement. Because I don't know if he can see us until now. Okay, yeah, this should be a decent engagement, actually, because this guy's going to be surrounded, so... Okay, yeah, the Falxmen are going to help us with... Oh, crap, those elephants. Shoot the elephants. Oh, this is going to be bad. Come on, Archer, shoot those elephants. Shoot the elephants! There you go. Alright. Alright, the Falxmen are about to seal up the... Look how bad my guys are getting beat down by the Prinkipes. <laughs> it is no joke. Like a straight up beating. Well, we got these Prinkipes. We got them good. 
those uh those elephants are gonna be a problem. The enemy base will soon be ours. Oh wow. I don't think we really want to blob that elephant. I don't think that's gonna be useful. Oh, we gotta help that artillery. Our allies are attacking us. I can't do much against these tier five swords. Oh, there's another elephant coming too. Ha! <laughs> All the people saying, Heir of Carthage. Wow, that elephant is not taking much damage. Oh, well, yeah, they got cavalry behind us, too. All right, we got more infantry coming back here, though. Let's see if we can just, you know, kind of play games with these heavy infantry for a minute. We can't beat them alone, but we can, we can give them something to think about. That cavalry back here, there's not much we can do in that guard. These cavalry. Solaris. It's a Roman cavalry. Oh, elephant! Hannibal, no! Sweet, merciful Bale! Yeah, we are so screwed. These elephants are absolutely ruining us. So, someone said that elephants got nerfed too hard. I don't really see how. <laughs> These guys have taken some significant damage from archers and it is not doing anything. Look how bad they hurt me. Is it appropriate that Hannibal's getting destroyed by elephants? Yeah, he needs to shoot the javelins. I know some people are thinking shoot the elephants, but those javelins are also a huge threat. Saki eye javelin ears. Oh yeah, we're so dead. We are so dead. You are the best of the best. Y'all understand why elephants stink, or uh, <laughs> why Carthaginian swordsmen are bad now? <laughs> Especially when they're out-tiered by tier 6 elephants, and then tier 5 Roman infantry. Yeah, we were just straight up outmatched here. Like, the matchmaking definitely set us up for failure here. That happens occasionally, because there's not perfect matches. You just have to roll with the punches. I mean, there's not much you can do about it. Watch this cavalry, like, my guys won't even do good against it. Like, heavy infantry is supposed to be good against cavalry, but my infantry's crap. Look, see? His cavalry can just stand there and beat me. He didn't even take damage till he turned away. So, this is how Hannibal's gonna die, at the hands of some of his own elephants. How ironic. Dude, these elephants. I haven't even taken like half damage. How strong were these things before the patch? Someone told me earlier that they got over nerfed. Are you kidding? These guys have like single handedly clutched their way through like two different blobs of infantry and aren't even half dead. I gotta hurry up and unlock elephants. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Those elephants. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's n it's not great. I, I don't know. I haven't played against them enough. Or as them to know, like, what kind of weaknesses they have. But, I mean, look, they're surrounded by spearmen right here. And they are just not taking damage. I mean, look at the elephants. No, no, no. That was friendly spears. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, we got totally outmatched by matchmaking right there. And I'm guessing that's the elephants right there at the 6,500. Let's see. No, 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 it can't have been because of the general. My bad. That was definitely Falk's infantry that did that. Yeah, Falk's infantry and the elephants were in second place. No big surprise. No big surprise there. Wow, those Falk's infantry got... Okay, they picked up 3,000 capture points. They did pretty good in melee, though. I mean, look, they got as many melee kills as or damage as the elephants. We did terrible. I told you all those swordsmen are bad. They're just, they are bad. There's no two ways around it. Like, don't use them. That's the only thing I can tell you right now. And if you all know how to use them and you think I'm stupid, again, please inform me. I am Hannibal. Because otherwise, they just seem terrible. I'm gonna put my Greek cop lights back in here. They're not great, but they earn me extra silver and extra XP so that I can level up faster. And that yeah. is really what I want. Oh, no, not with gold. 
So yeah, this is my favorite um, way to go tier 4 for now. Uh, part of me wishes that I would have unlocked the... Um, part of me wishes that I would have unlocked the... Um, Carthaginian Hop Whites at that level. I probably should have. I think I will eventually, but right now I'm just going to focus all my XP towards um, the Elephants. And these Greek Hop Whites will help me earn that XP faster. Let's play another one. Rubicon. I haven't played this map since one of the old betas. If I remember right, it was pretty cool. Wow, quite the mix of tiers here, all the way from 3 to 5. Let's see what we get over here on there. Well, we won't be able to see theirs till we get in. Man, that Hadrian's Wall map seems cool, but with elephants around, they're going to be like... Hadrian's Wall is like great for them. It like focuses all the infantry into one spot where they can stomp it. <laughs> Those elephants. I, I don't know. Just in the one match where I got to play against them and watch them there, they still seem pretty broken. I mean, if they had done all that work and were nearly dead... I could see it. They took a lot of fire from archers for a while. They stomped through a bunch of spearmen and other infantry. Like, they weren't, like, only one of them was almost half dead. The other two were, like, 75% or above. And they did all that damage. They did as much damage as the Falx infantry. I mean, that is a little crazy, folks. A little crazy. Okay, so it's a river crossing map. Let's um try and play around these archers. We'll try and protect the archers, as their teammates suggest. Slingers? Yeah, slingers. Looks like, I think. I need to go check. Holy archers! Good night! Yeah, this our team is terribly balanced right now. Like, just terribly balanced. Alright, there is a... We have so many archers. If they have a lot of cavalry, we are beyond screwed. Siloy? Yeah, they're slingers, I believe. Just do my best to stick close to some archers here. Maybe I should... Yeah, there's so many archers. So we need to sit back and see if our archers can manage to do some work. Uh, this looks a little bit risky, man. Don't get too over-engaged, because there could be enemies. Yeah, like that. The javelin's right over there. He's keeping those archers busy. If he can get to these javelin men in the forest, there he... Oh, the artillery, though, too. Yeah, they have artillery. We need to just back up and force them to cross. I'm sure my team won't do it, but that's what we need to do because their artillery is going to really put a beating on us. We don't have any... Art wow, that's great, though. Nice archer shots. Good damage on these javelins. Well done, well done. Turn around and get them again. All right, there's really nothing I can do right now except for get shot by artillery, apparently. Where's all the pings coming from? Okay, yeah, they got a bunch of guys on that side. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have gotten yourself. Oh, they got elephants. They have elephants. Okay, we killed quite a few of these uh, Saki Javelin men. The, the fact that there's war elephants here is bad. It is really bad. If we can keep all of our archers safe, we might have a prayer. Man, don't, don't stay up there and get shot to death. No, 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 we need you. You're getting shot to death, bro. Well, fortunately, they had a lot of archers, too. But I'm worried that their artillery is going to put them over the top here. Ooh, that artillery. It's level 5 artillery, too. It's a good one. Careful, don't shoot our own cavalry. Our cavalry is being very, very anxious. And that ar those archers are all blobbed up for the artillery. We're gonna need some more infantry over this way to help protect. Come with us, archers, because we need you over here. It put us out of range of the artillery anyway. Come on, cavalry, get away from there. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose this. But if we play safe and kind of stay back from the artillery, we have a chance. We've got a lot of missiles moving forward over here. I hope they don't have cavalry on this flank. Yeah, artillery's still hitting me. Where did we run through some stakes or something? No, it's artillery. 
How in the world can he see me from over there? They really have that good a line of sight here? Looks like he's trying to shoot the elephants, but their artillery could single-handedly win this. We're getting a lot of missile units in behind them, but I think they know these missile units are here because they had a whole bunch set up and then fell back. Their war elephants are being very patient. No one wants to cross the Rubicon here, right? Stop chasing, go cap. Go cap what? I mean, we can't just waltz into their base. Okay, our cavalry got in back here to do a little damage. It's not going to stop them, but I mean, stopping those Onager for the time being. They're chasing all these skirmishers, I think, is what they're getting onto our guys for. Ah, that was a good shot. The Siloy have some insane range. Do much from the front, but... Okay, archers, let's not get too crazy, okay? I can't protect you from all this stuff over here. Our swordsmen went and threw themselves in and got killed. Let's follow the archers down here. I'm going to try and protect those archers, but I don't think I can. I'm going to have to, though, so I'm going to go down and do it. Let's see how things are going over here. Pikemen have a good engagement. Good engagement there. I mean, we're winning the numbers game. At least for now. Well, let's see if the Siloy take these things out. They've got the range. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. There we go. Okay, what's going on over here? We just got to go protect these archers. Oh my gosh, that artillery. Someone's got to shut up those Onagers. The enemy didn't have a lot of cav either. They mostly just had war elephants. Let's just give the archers a place to fall back to. Let the archers do some work. Oh my gosh, that artillery is going to be brutal. Let's try and move over here. Maybe the artillery can't get as good of a shot because of that building. We need all these skirmishers back here to shoot down that artillery. Get up there and shoot the artillery. They should have it taken out soon, and if that's the case, I'm pretty sure we have a victory unless these war elephants can take us all down. The war elephants are heading back to base, so let's pursue. We're going to stay split up. That way the artillery doesn't have just one mass target. Our ranged advantage actually should be very handy now. Yeah, you guys get over there and get that artillery. Get it. Hanging out over here. Yeah, you might want to move your uh, siloy. Move the siloy. What are you doing? Move the siloy. Oh, that was actually insane damage. Get out of there, dude. There's some tier 5 infantry right behind you. Move. My spearmen are probably over here dying if I'm not paying attention. Okay, let's get over here. Our allies fire on us. Oh, the siloy got caught. They turned around. Oh, wow. They're doing insane damage, though. Those archers need to stay and help put shots in there. This one's getting wrecked by the swords, but... Come on, move it up, move it up. I'm not getting any points because I haven't gotten to fight anything. We have enough missile units, I think, to destroy the elephants. Let's get into the back of those swordsmen, try and take them down real quick. You are the best of the best. There's still some enemy swords up here, but our archers should be able to fall back, okay? Holy crap, what does it take to kill these guys? 
We're getting shot by these archers back there. We got our own archers now. They can do some damage on the units in their base. We have a massive numbers advantage on the power bar, but the enemy is actually managing to catch our archers. What are these silo doing? Yeah, come on, get over here. You guys did amazing against that other infantry. Finally got her out there. We can't fight a whole lot more of these swordsmen, though. Shoot the archers. Don't worry about the, the swordsmen. I'll come get them. All right. The elephants are getting kited effectively right now. They get slowed every time they get shot. If they can focus the right units, there's some enemy archers up here, but they're going to get chased off. Are there any infantry in the capture point? I mean, we can see most of it. Let's push forward and see. These, these guys will get ruined. There's a swordsman back here to help intercept some of those. Split up, man. Split your split your bows up. The enemy base will soon be ours. Let's get some capture points because I don't have points for anything else. If I can get three thousand capture points, that'd be good. Look at him trying to decap me like this one archer over here taking pot shots at me. What a boss. Thank you. That should kill him. He'll be down soon. We have slain Germanicus. Good. I don't like Germanicus. How are the elephants doing? Have we even killed a single one? What? 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 What's everybody pinging? I see someone pinging, but I don't know what it is. Can we not kill that one archer? Holy artillery! Let's get behind this building over here. That artillery came up here and built some new ones, I guess. Kill him! Good call. Those, that's what they were pinging. I see two elephants. Maybe one died? I don't see an elephant corpse, but it could have dropped in that really tall grass or something. Okay, artillery's gonna have to fall back. Yeah, basically I'm just gonna go for a ton of capture points. <laughs> I just need 3,000 capture points. <laughs> Look at my guys telling the artillery to just give up and let them kill him. I only got 241 combat points, that's terrible. See, I didn't do a whole lot useful here, but I can I can get as many cap points as the game will let me get. Look at these elephants. I guess the speed of the elephants really gets brought down as they get shot. <laughs> that guy's still trash talking the artillery player that's running away that's hilarious <laughs> nice hike wow man these elephants look how hard they are to kill here's one dead elephant okay yeah okay so that one died there the second one died right where its brother did now yeah it's just a matter of time so it looks like it takes an extreme amount of archer fire to bring the elephants down I've heard and I don't know if this is true but I've heard that elephants can just go straight through the front of pikes as well if that's the case, that's a little bit disturbing. Because it seems like that would be like the natural counter to something like the elephants. I'm almost to my cap on points. Look, I'm going to get like third or fourth place just from sitting in the enemy base. <laughs> Raise it. <laughs> Recording now. <laughs> oh, look, we're going to get third place just off capture points. Unless this guy gets more points here. I think it caps us out at 3,000. Let's see if that's really the case. If so, that's still a ton of capture points that you can get. Yep, that's the cap. We can still finish capturing the base, but... Oh, no, no, he's going to try and decap us. Get in here, get in here. 
try and get where that building blocks us from the artillery. Yeah, because that artillery is going to remount. He could decap us just to make the battle take longer. If he hits me, he's going to get a ton of decap. It is our base now. Those guys are excited to be on YouTube. That's funny. Anyway, that was kind of an interesting battle. Um, seeing it. What? I got first place? Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, because you all saw how great I played there. Yeah, I'm first place. I just like to say. I'm the best at sitting in the enemy base and racking up free points, just so y'all know. 50% more XP too, good. See, it, get, it buys you a ton of unit XP. Here's the other downside to the gold units, right? It gets me 50% more of everything, which is fantastic, that's kind of cool. But downside is it's like 12 bucks, <laughs> you know, to get it, it's expensive, it wasn't cheap. That's how these freemium kind of things uh, work, right? They're not cheap to get a hold of, so I mean, if you don't mind spending 12 bucks, you can. Routed an enemy unit, eliminated, executed, killed an enemy. Wow, we killed four enemy commanders? I don't know when we did that. <laughs> All the capture points. That's hilarious. 3,599 capture points. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So we got first place with barely, like, I think, I yeah, I have the lowest melee score of the entire team. That's the first time I've ever gotten such a low score melee-wise and then gotten first place. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed these videos. It was fun. Oh, the other downside to the gold units. Yeah, so you can see I'm building up the unit XP here, but if I want to use it, um, like, to convert it over to another unit, I have to pay to convert that to another unit. So let me let me show you here. These See these Libyan recruits? I need the XP on the Libyan recruits if I want to... These, um, if I want to get to the next level. But see, my XP is on these guys. See, I got 2,800 XP. Um, so you can convert it. It's just kind of irritating, really. Um, XP conversion. So see, unit XP to free XP, you can convert that. They don't really have it to where you can just convert um, unit XP off of one to the other. You have to do this, like, so slide it over. See, it's going to cost me... See, I have to have even more gold to convert the XP that comes off of them. So are these gold units overpowered? No. I mean, the player is going to end up paying a lot of money to use them and then convert all the XP back to another unit so that it'll be useful. Does that make sense? So see we have all this. I don't want to convert all of it though. We just want to convert it off of these guys and probably the, the well I kind of want to leave some of it on the Phoenician warriors I think. But see if I want to convert it all off those guys it's going to cost me 114 gold. Again I, I can afford to spend the gold and show you all what happens here but I mean it's expensive. So if you buy the gold unit, you're going to have to spend more gold to make that unit, you know, be able to convert it over to XP that you can use. I think if you're going to buy the gold unit, it wouldn't hurt if they would at least let you dump that XP into another unit on the same tier without having to pay gold, since you already paid gold for the unit. But, I mean, that's definitely a downside, right, that you're going to run into. So we converted all that to free XP. We could convert it off the Phoenician Warriors too and pour it into the Libyan recruits. I'll just kind of show you all how this works. Let's do it. Because like I said, I have the gold to do this because you all support me so good I can do this. Um, and then I'll just show you like if we come over here. Now I have crap loads of free XP which we could use to like unlock a commander or something else like that too. Um, but again, you're paying for all this, right? I mean, it's, it's not not free. I could do all the stuff that makes my um, Libyan recruits better, but there's honestly really no point to it. Might as well just do the minimalist here, only unlock what we have to. You see, it, it helps me unlock towards where I want to be. Now I just need um, 12,000 XP either on the unit, or no, no um, I need 12,000 yeah, 12,000 total uh, of either unit XP or free XP, and then we can tier up to the Punic Mercenaries, which is probably another crappy sword unit, and I'm just going to get the Gallic Cavalry and <laughs> go from there. Just I'm just trying to get to Elephants, and I'm going to end up paying a bunch of money to get there faster. Anyway, remember, if you want to download the game, I got a link in the description. Click my link and go through and download the game. Some people have been saying, Air, the play TWA code you give us doesn't work. I'm asking them about it. I'm not sure why it's not working. 
I'll ask him, try it. If you get something out of it, you get something. If not, the game's free anyway, and just use my link, and that helps me out a lot. So hope you all are enjoying the game. I know I am. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. I will see you all next time.